Welcome to the Wednesday edition of The Price of Business. I'm delighted to be with you, talking to you about you and your business. We have a lot to talk about on today's program. Before I do so, I do want to mention uh, we, we actually did a tape program yesterday, and so I didn't get a chance to mention it. Obviously, uh, the, the events in Boston has uh, all of us pondering that, and uh, people should be praying for that, contacting organizations like the Red Cross to volunteer to provide blood and that type of thing. Uh, Events like this done by our enemies are a great opportunity to show our national unity, and I hope we do just that. But I, I did want to express that. But we got a great show lined up, and uh, you know the thing about it. One of the reasons of Ameri- or one of the ways Americans show their resolve is by continuing to do business, continuing to work, and not allow the enemy to uh, to uh, have victories in that respect. Jason Arsmond, he's here in our first segment. He's here every Wednesday, in fact, talking about uh, some of the personalities out there that he encounters in his company at brightboxonline.com. A great company, and in fact, uh, the Price of Business works with them, and they work with us and helping us with our projects. And I uh, was delighted to hear about some of the people they've met, some of the people they're working with, and always like to get them on the show. Jason, welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Kevin. Hey, before you introduce your guest, why don't you kind of give us the elevator speech about, uh, about Brightbox? Absolutely. Here we go. Brightbox is Houston's fastest-growing brand marketing firm because... Here we focus on gaining true ROI rather than just marketing activity. So if you're looking for a proactive, result-oriented approach to your marketing and business development, check us out online, brightboxonline.com. Today we have a wonderful guest with us, uh, business owners, uh, listen up. Um, Representative Rice Loomis from MP2 Energy. Rice, thank you so much for coming in and uh, welcome to the show. Sure thing, guys. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Hey, yeah, real quickly, kind of give us your elevator speech. Tell us what your company's all about. Sure, sure. So uh, MP2 Energy, uh, we office in the Woodlands. Uh, we're founded in March of 2009, and uh, we are a retail electric provider in Texas. Uh, we are also a Level 4 QSE. That's a qualified scheduling entity. Uh, so we manage about 1,000 megawatts of uh, generation assets in Texas that ranges from wind farms to uh, coal plants to gas assets. Awesome. Jason? Great stuff. Now, I know you guys are doing um, some different things over there at MP2 Rice. Um, tell us a little bit about the recent launch of this demand response uh, pr- program you've got. Sure, yeah. So demand response is a, is a, is a unique uh, product in the electricity business. Um, it, it's been around for some time, but uh, as grid scarcity conditions uh, persist across Texas as the economy grows and the population grows, uh, demand response is sort of one of these new tools that the grid operator is using uh, to maintain reliability on the grid. Um, and there's a fair amount of money that ERCOT has made available for uh, commercial and industrial customers to uh, participate in these types of programs. So uh, we're out trying to market those opportunities and work with industrial users of energy to, uh, to capture those dollars. Interesting, interesting. And so are you also working with uh, businesses? I mean, do you pri- provide electricity uh, for businesses, or is it almost entirely residential? Uh, very little residential, actually. We okay. work with, uh, yeah, large industrial consumers of power, data centers, pipeline operators, uh, petrochemical facilities, that kind of stuff. Yeah, retail power. Yeah, exactly. So very good. Jason? Uh Tell us a little bit, Rice, what is the demand response? Is it an actual unit or a box? I mean, how does that work? Are you guys just monitoring on the, that on your end, or what, what does that mean whenever yeah, somebody talks yeah, about that? Yeah, it's a good question. There's, uh, you know, technology has, uh, in, in the electricity space has, uh, has really been advancing in the, in the past few years. At this point, pretty much everybody in Texas has a smart meter installed behind their home or business. Um, and so what, what we've been working on and developing is, is a way to automate the demand response uh, curtailments. So uh, in a hot afternoon in the summer, as uh, grid conditions uh, get, get iffy, uh, we have the ability now to uh, remotely curtail our customers' uh, loads uh, if they are in, involved and interested in demand response programs. And we can do that basically dialing into the smart meters and the smart devices that customers have installed uh, at their homes and businesses. Yeah, Royce, let me ask you, what exactly is your role at the company, by the way? Sure, I, I, I do business development, and uh, I, my background it is mostly in retail, uh, but the demand response side of our business is, uh, is one that's, that's been growing quickly, so I've, I've 
most of my experiences in retail, but I've been working more and more on uh, sort of these demand side energy efficiency solutions. Very good. That's great. And Rice, I know, uh, you know, most of our listeners are here in Houston um, and you guys have some Houston affiliation. Uh, are, are you guys completely local or where are the founders and partners of this company at? Yeah, we are. We're we're very much a local firm. Um, everybody that I work with is is from Texas, and yeah, the the electricity business is uh, is consolidated a lot over the last couple of years. There are a lot of uh, large, uh, you know, energy companies from all over the country and from all over the world that are participating in electricity in Texas. But uh, our firm definitely has kept sort of the local feel to it, um, and uh, most of our experience comes from the energy business in Texas. So. Uh, we, we like to, to tell that story a little bit. We think it helps connect with, with customers out in the market. Absolutely. We take a lot of pride in that, don't we? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So talk about uh, you know, what your projected growth is in, in uh, 2013 and the years to come. What do you, what do you see are, are reasons why you grow? How do you project your growth? That type of thing. Yeah, you know, a lot of our growth to date, I think, has been organic. Um, we, we're, we're not, as, as the folks at Brightbox know, who, who we've been working with, uh, we, we don't have a very aggressive uh, marketing campaign. Uh, we, you don't see MP2's name on billboards or on football stadiums. Um, so a lot of our growth has been through, uh, you know, relationships and, uh, and just trying to do a good job and, and do the right thing for our customers so we can retain them uh, as their electricity contracts expire year over year. Um, in looking ahead, we are moving to uh, some states in the Northeast. Pennsylvania's got a great electricity market. Uh, states like New Jersey and uh, Illinois and Maryland as well. Um, so we're, we're going to be moving to, to those states, those new markets, later this year. And then um, as demand response programs grow across the country, uh, places like California are, uh, offer some good potential for us as well. So. I'm um, hoping to use our, our, our homegrown expertise here in Texas and expand it to other markets uh, as they open up. Awesome. Uh, as, we, as we wrap it up, I do want to make sure we get your website out there, mp2energy.com, mp2energy.com. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. You bet. Great job. And also, thank you, Jay, uh, Jason, as always. Very good uh, content, great information, and uh, looking forward. What do you got coming up uh, down the pike as far as guests? Uh, next week, we'll have a representative from Stuart Cadillac. They've got some amazing promotions and programs for businesses and small businesses, and so um, I think what they'll bring to the show next week is going to be pretty exciting. So will they bring us a Cadillac, though? <laughs> we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> All right. I'm Kevin Price. You can learn more about Jason over at Bright boxonline.com. Uh, him and his uh, cohort, Patrick, do a phenomenal job helping businesses. Check them out. More after this right here on The Price of Business.